Hello, my name is JT Benitez with The Ohio State University Extension in Butler County. I'm here today to talk to you about how to take a soil test uh, in your yard, your garden, your flower beds, or maybe in your field area. So I'm going to talk to you first about the different items that you might need to take your soil test. First, stop at our office on 1802 Princeton Road uh, in Hamilton, Ohio. Uh, and pick up the soil test. If you're in another county or state, you can go to your local county extension office to get your materials as well. Or other, they may other, have other sources for it as well. So you'll pick up a soil test. It usually comes in a manila envelope like this and has the address for our company that we use. We actually use Michigan State University to have your soil test sent to. It'll contain materials of different types of soil tests, whether you need a field soil test for maybe your farmer or if you need a lawn and garden or flower bed or yard type uh, soil test, for, with, which is what this is here. And you'll have all the information you need to fill out for it. You also have a list of how to's um, soil tests on how to do that. It's $23 for a garden soil test, uh, and you send that to Michigan State University, which we have all that address information in the packet. And it's a $12 test for any farm fields that you might be testing. The other thing you also need a little baggie you put your soil in and a little little uh, label on it to label your soil. If you're taking multiple soil tests you're going to want to say sample one, sample two, sample three, and so on. Another nice thing to send it in um, is these two items here. When you're done taking your test you're going to send it either in this manel envelope that we give to you or you can step it up a grade and send it in this nice US Postal Service box. You put the soil test inside and you'll put the uh, form that you filled out as well in it as well. The other item, when you go out to take your soil test, you're going to need a shovel. Okay? The other thing you're going to need is a bucket. And if the soil is wet, especially after it's rained, you're going to need some newspaper. Okay? So the soil, all you have to do is go around and find you a different spot in the yard. Let's say you're taking a lawn test. Pick a few different spots in the, in the, in the lawn area that you want to take. Um, if you're doing the front yard, do that as one soil test. And if you're doing the backyard, maybe do that as a separate one. It all depends how your terrain is. Let me do a real quick look at the background I've got here. Okay, I've got a hillside here, which could be a different soil test than what we might take here in the back that we're gonna do here later, which I'll break out for you. So this is a lawn, so you might take a few different samples in the different part of the lawn there. And you'll wanna to wanna to do that so you can get a good idea of what's going on. Four to six inches down in the soil is about what you wanna go. So I always say at the end of the shovel here, that's the dirt that you want to mix in with your soil. You're going to put it into this bucket here, and you're going to mix it up, your different spots throughout the yard. And that's sample one. If you do a garden, that's going to be sample two. If you do your flower beds, it'd be sample three. If you have a different part of the lawn where it's a lower end or for different, that you have a lot of acreage you're doing, that might be sample four. So it just depends on what you're, what you're trying to find out for your lawn. So let's go ahead and we'll get a soil dug. A uh, soil test dug and we'll go from there. Okay, we're out here to take our soil test. I chose a spot that is looking pretty rough in this yard. It's got weeds growing in it. It's not very thick. There's a lot of issues going on here. Uh, it might be something common you might see in a lawn sometimes. Um, so I chose this spot because the secret is it used to be where a pool was. So obviously there's lots of different things that occurred in this soil that could be causing this issue here. There could be some compaction there could be some sand mixed in, there could be other things that were mixed in under this pool uh, that's causing it. So we're going to find out what we need to do to amend the soil. So the first thing you need to do is get a shovel, get down in here and dig. Like I said, you want to go about shovel length down, get that first top soil off there, and you want to get down where the roots are growing at, okay? So we're going to get down in here, and this is what we're going to get. This right here is down about the shovel length. That's what I said, four to six inches down um, is about the dirt we want to get. That's where your grow medium is going to be. And so you can see that right here. Uh, you're going to grab your bucket. Let me grab it off the screen real quick. You're going to put it in here. Okay. Do you need all that much? No. But what you're going to do is take another sample out here somewhere, maybe way down this way. And we're going to grab another sample down deep. Okay, this is your one sample still, remember that. And so now we're going to grab this little section down here, which is about six, four to six inches down, and we're going to throw this in. 
you might go try another spot in here maybe four little sample spots for your one big sample that you're doing you're going to mix this up in your bucket as best as you can so you want to mix all this up real well now the other thing is this is really wet so that newspaper i mentioned is very important take this soil after you mix it up and lay it around on some newspaper and let it dry out into that powdery form as best as you can because that's the only way they're going to really be able to test that very well you want your soil to be dry so from there once you let it dry we'll show you the next step and getting the sample up to michigan state to get tested or wherever you take your soil sample to all right the next step we'll go to okay so now we've gotten our soil test done and this is we're trying to do a soil test for a lawn right now so I've got my soil test. I'm going to speed up time on drying that soil, obviously. And I now I've got it in the bag. It's a little moist from being in the bag, but it's actually dry. You can see here, this soil is actually dry. It's powdery, and it's ready for them to get tested up there at Michigan State. That's what you want to be sending to them is dry. So after it's spent time sitting on the newspaper drying, after you've taken it out of your bucket, It'll spend several days on there drying. It'll take a while to dry out if it's been pretty wet. Once you do that, you take your sample out. It's all mixed in. I've taken that little spot there. I took a few different spots of dirt and mixed it all in together. That was four to six inches down. And so I have a general idea of that area of the soil I'm getting. Now, if you're doing a flower bed, you want to do the same thing. Maybe take one from the end, middle, and the other end. Or if you've got a large one, maybe take a few little spots in there and mix it all together. That way you get your sample. And the same thing for a garden. Just take a few different spots throughout there, mix it in as your one sample there as well. So once you get your uh, sample all bagged up, you want to put your label on there. It says your sample ID and you want to fill out your form saying sample, sample one and it's going to be from the lawn. And you'll put that on here. And on the back there's a few codes that you can put down. If you've got high quality bluegrass, fescue, rye, whatever it is, you can mark that there on the paper in the front, what you have as your grass type. Um, so you'll put your sample ID on there as well. So if you have multiple samples you're sending, you definitely want to make sure you've got this label on here saying sample one, lawn, sample two, garden, sample three, flower bed, and so on. Okay, so once you get that done, you can either put it in this envelope and send it up with your form here, with your check to Michigan State. Or you can put it in this nice fancy box, which kind of came apart on me here. As you can see, I kind of like the box method better because I can just shove the, the dirt right in here. Okay, I can just shove it right in there and then I can fold the paper and the check and everything else in there. So that's the way I like to send them up if I'm doing this. And then they should be... Uh, once you get everything filled out, make sure you put your email and your address. They'll send you via email your soil test results. And once you get that in, if you don't understand them, just let us know. It'll tell you everything you need to know about your soil. It's everything that's going on below the ground that'll help you improve it. They'll be able to tell you that in that soil test. So give me a call at the office or your local county extension agent, and they'll be able to help you. Hello, this is JT again with The Ohio State University Extension in Butler County. Due to the COVID-19 situation at this time, OSHA extension offices are not open until after July 6th. That could change. We're waiting for final word, but at this time, that's what it is. So for all your soil tests and OSU extension needs, be sure to go to butler.osu.edu, or you can contact us on that website through our phone numbers or emails that are listed there as well. For your soil test, go under butler.osu.edu, under the Agriculture and Natural Resources tab, under the soil testing link, which will take you to three forms that will be able to help you with your soil test. Lawn and garden, fields for farmers, and your FAQ sheet to be able to do your soil test. Thank you. Bye-bye.